The Moth House is a collectible horror game that is an adventure game in an old house where many varieties of moths dine, which you will catch. The house is very dark, and all you will find in your pockets is a box of matches with which you can light your way a little. Hey, greetings, King Queens, Nice Angles of All Kind. My name is Blue Raven, and welcome to a game called The Moth House, uh, or just Moth House, sorry. Uh, I saw this game once to IO, and I thought it looked really cool, but also really creepy it has a, a very uh it says it has like a vhs uh, effect on it which is cool and uh i uh yeah i want to get into it uh because moths are one of those things where they're cool right um but uh dear son i hope this letter finds you well i am writing to inform you that i am leaving far from here on an expedition unfortunately i can't provide location I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not sit, if I do not get in touch, then I have to request to you. In this attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then... Let them out of the house, but it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. Okay. So I'm assuming he did not return. Because that is indeed what we are here for. Wow, hello. I don't need to go back. Well, I, I might. I, I might a little. Um, so yeah, moths are, are cool little little guys um does this match right now i hope not it probably does um but they can also be kind of creepy uh some of you may have heard of like mothman he's like a kind of a well-known cryptid i think he's a cryptid i think that's what he's considered one yeah the match is definitely running out um yeah and i'm also using my vtuber model as you can see so Hello. Um, I want to use. I want to use it more for horror games, which I, I said like in the first. Oh my god! In the first stream, uh, use control to crouch. Okay, so I automatically do it good. All right. I don't like that I have to crouch, but sure. It's like I can't. Oh, okay. I can. Can I? Yoink. Use tab to open backpack. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Wow. Let's see. So I have five American dagger moths and four leopard moths. Okay. So I'm assuming this is my jar over here. I don't have like a mouse or anything in here. So. Um, if I do that again. Okay, I have more. So that's cool. Hello. Use the mouse wheel to change items. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already. Eat. Sure. I guess. I like the style of this. Oh, hello. I don't. Why is my screen shaking? Uh. Hello. Oh, cool. It does kind of show you collecting them. I'm just gonna. Oh wow, you're a big one, aren't you? Let's see what we got. We got two tiger moths, one. Seropia? Cesar. Uh, something. I don't know. Wow, we have 31 American tiger moths. Okay, cool. Uh. I guess we keep going. This is actually quite terrifying. I don't know. I mean, some about moths, like they're kind of like beady eyes, are scary. Oh my gosh! Like little moths are, are okay, but like the bigger ones, like what's the biggest like moth that you've guys seen? Because they can get. Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't like that. Okay, okay, pick up. Oh boy. 
Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communication with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called thimbles. Interestingly, they are devices called they're devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is a this is because bats, which are natural predators of the moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Well, isn't that convenient? So I'm assuming if I'm close to a certain type, it will give off a certain kind of frequency. Okay. I actually quite like hearing the rain. That kind of calms me down. Hello. Can I just yoink some of y'all? Hello. Oh. I don't like that I have to cook. No recipes. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's just uh, good thing there's this lamp over here. It did say they'd be best to, like get all of them. So, oh, <laughs> it is goose. Okay, now, uh, oh dear, wow, they, uh, they're probably not happy to be that close to each other. Let's see, we have five, eight spotted forester moths, six atlas moths, 14 grape leaf skeletonizer moth, well, that's certainly a name, isn't it? And 14 luna moths, cool. Cool, I'm just gonna, like, keep... Let's just get all these. I'm gonna let this go out. Oh, he moves. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna let this go out real quick and then I'm gonna go down this hallway. That's so terrifying. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Hi. Let's just get all of you. You probably don't like being in here all cramped, I know, but oh my gosh. What was that? Uh, wow. There certainly are a lot of you, aren't there? Need a key, okay. Cool. Is the key in here? Uh, don't I have a crowbar? Okay. Perhaps there's one over here. Oh, jeez, man. Is there one over here? No. Probably going to have to go down the other way. Oh man. Locked. 73. 71. Oh. Well. That's terrifying. <laughs> Is it back here? It could be back here. Is there one on the shelf? Doesn't look like it. Uh, doesn't seem to be any. I'm gonna stay back. Yeah, next to this lamp again. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that noise, just that noise by itself, just terrifies me. I did pick up a crowbar. Where is it at? Oh my gosh. Okay, um... I 
It just goes back and forth between those. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, read. Okay. The Luna Moth is a large, beautiful moth native to North America. It is named after the Roman goddess of the moon because of its pale green color and crescent-shaped um, markings on its wings. The Luna Moth is known for its short outdoor lifespan of only about a week, during which it does not eat or have a mouth. The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The Luna Moth is primarily active at night. Yes. So yeah, there is one cool thing. Caterpillars can turn into butterflies or moths. Now I don't know what causes them to like what I meant. Oh my gosh, why do I get the option? That's terrifying. Um, I don't know, like, what... makes it, uh, turn into one or the other. But, ooh, Death Head Hawk Moth. What a name. What a name for a moth. For a simple little creature. Well, I say simple. They probably have a lot more use than I think they do. Oh, that's all. Oh my god. That is terrifying. That is horrifying. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh my god. Excuse me? Oh, green hawk moth. Not quite as cool as your other brother. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Am I, am I good? Stay. Is he dangerous? Oh, she okay. Let's just continue. Get up all these. Let's see what we got. We got Ooh, Emperor Gum Moth. Okay. So, doing pretty good. Let's just keep getting them. And I'm going to miss some, but. Um. Okay. Let's, uh. Can I read any of this? Nope. Oh, hi. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. At least I kind of know what he does now. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Oh, good. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many down here. Let me just, let me just go ahead. Okay. Well, I guess this wasn't so bad. This makes my life a little bit easier. I don't know how to get out though. Um. Okay. Cool, I guess. Um. Um. Okay, we got black witch moth. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more types. Okay. Cool. Everybody, come get into the 
this jar that I've filled completely to the brim. All right. Wow. Oh, oh, geez, that scared me. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, horror games are a love-hate relationship. It's just like, I want to play them because they're fun and everything, but also I'm just a baby when it comes to getting scared. Come on. All right. Let's see. Great. We got none of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Perhaps they're in the parts of the house that I didn't quite get to open. Where am I at? Oh, that's the door. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do this real quick and let's get that. All right, cool. Uh, let's hope we can go back this way again. Oh gosh, is that him? I guess it, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. It sounds like it's getting closer, let's see. Oh, cool. Okay, so we need one. We need just four more different ones. Alrighty. Uh. Uh. Okay, we just need the white witch moth. Now, that's all we need. Uh. Okay. Can you please be around here? Oh, Jesus! Scared me. Come on. I mean, you gotta be it, right? Come on. Okay. No. Perhaps some of you. Seriously? There's tons of you. It's gonna take me forever just to get this last moth and um Okay. This is terrifying. I mean it's quite cool actually, to be fair. Like I'm enjoying my experience, but I'm also just scared of everything. Come on, seriously? Oh, that's actually quite a cute photo. That on the other hand is terrifying. Seriously. I have 326 American Dagger Moth, that's crazy. Oh, okay. Pick up. We have all of them. Okay. Okay, we should go downstairs. We're good. We're good. We just go downstairs. And, oh jeez. And we open up that, that thing, that door. The door, yes. Uh, oh, hi. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Oh, my God. I didn't realize he was that fast. Okay. Yeah. And now I'm being stuck here. Do I, I just have all of them? I just have all of them. Okay. I should just be able to go. That scared me way too much. I did not realize he was that close to me. But this should unlock this door.
Oh. Uh-oh. What have I done? Oh, hi. Um, please. Please don't hurt me. Talk? Uh, sh yeah, sure. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. <laughs> you see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Okay. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him once he... Once he even almost ate me. Oh, that's sad. The king needs to be fed urgently. And with normal food, he needs soup. Moth soup. These are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the moth king. Ah. Well. I'll have you know. I can mix moths pretty well. Um... Let's see. Should we do like Black Witch, Death Head, and like, I don't know, maybe like Hercules Moth? That could be cool. Uh, I don't know if it tells me. Like, let's see. Black Witch Moth. I gotta look at it again. Sorry. Okay. That's what it looks like. Oh, good grief. Oh, recipe? Not enough ingredients. Let's click this one. Take. They don't have the most in it, so perhaps you'll like that. Here's thine soup. Thanks. The one part of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup, okay? Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better. So it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. Okay. Okay. So we have a picky eater over here, I see. I added like eight different moths to this thing, and you didn't like it. I see, I see. Okay. Um, perhaps. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps all of them. You know, when in doubt, just put all of them in there. Thank you, this king is not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Okay. Cool. I think we'll just make another one of the everything moth soup. He seems to have liked that. Um. Cook. Take, take the soup to the giant moth. Can you tell the other moth to stop chasing? I mean, he's not chasing right now, but you know, can you like tell him to calm down? Thank you so much for feeding the moth king. He really liked your soups. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, so he has powers and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. Oh. Oh my. Oh, oh wow. That's crazy. All right, goodbye. And there are all the rest of them. Nice. Moth house. A game by Ken Forrest. Cool. I like that. It was uh, it was probably a bit. I probably got a bit more scared than I, I should have, um, because uh, I didn't realize like the first time I was kind of okay when he got me, but the second time the moth got me, I didn't realize he was going to be that close. But that was fun. That was really cool. You should definitely go check it out. Like I said, I will leave a um, uh, I will leave a link in the description like I do for most of these games. Right. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Now there are three endings. I don't know which one I got. 
um, but uh, you should have to go play it for yourself and see if you can get one of the other two endings. Uh, but if you liked this video, uh, then I hope that you will hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more from me and my channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy, and God bless.